Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Dave, and today, uh, hopefully, <laughs> we're going to fix um, a common problem on uh, the Canon A series cameras and others, but specifically on these um, of Canon Cough and what that sounds like. That. <laughs> And luckily, more often than not, that's an easy thing to fix. Okay. Um, so here's a Canon A1 I was lucky to pick up. Watch, it's got the cough, it's in relatively good nick for, for its age. Everything else seems to work. So uh, we're going to fix the cough. Okay, and here's the uh, battery panel that goes there normally. We'll take it off for now. So what do you need? What do you need to make this work? Uh, important thing is a screwdriver, but not just any Phillips head screwdriver. Um, the screws used here um, require a, a, what's known as a triple zero end. And I've got a, a set here, a quite a well known set from uh, Amazon, and it uses a, the finest one. Don't really use um, a standard Phillips, even a small one like a watch one or something. Uh, they can thread the screws, then you've got a whole, you know, a whole load of... I've not taken this apart yet, so I don't even know what the condition is. But anyway, so yes, yeah, so it gets a P, I think it's a triple zero, they call it. Okay, a uh, Japanese head or something like that. But um, check it out first before you uh, adventure into this. Also, you will need some gun or clock oil. I've got clock oil here, I've also got some gun oil in the thing. And a syringe. Uh, you don't need a lot of oil, but what you do need is a way of getting it into the body. So I picked up a load of cheap, these cheap things, I think of eBay or, or Amazon. Um, and I don't know if you can tell, but on the end there, I've just bent it slightly. Okay. So that when I put it into the camera in a minute, it goes into the mechanism, into the cogs, as it were. And make sure that the drop of oil, only a little drop gets uh, delivered onto the cogs that are squeaking okay so uh, you can see that there it's a little kink in the end just literally just bend it just just give it a gentle bend um, and it's 30 odd mil 36 mil i think to there and then bend it okay and you might want to put a little mark as well on the on the needle to show the top of the bend as it were so you know that you're in the right place anyways that's that, and a little bit of tissue just in case. It's cold hands today, it's a bit chilly today, but anyway, let's get on with it. So, the first thing to do is to remove the back, and there's a couple of screws. So, you've got one here, and one here. So, just gently take that off, keep them in a safe place because you don't want to lose them. I think this back has already been off to be honest because that was a bit loose that one unless it's just worked loose for years anyway so and carefully remove the back okay and there's the back oh my god oh my giddy on okay now where we're going to put the oil where where we're going to put the needle so we're going to have the black the black mark that i mentioned facing upwards gets in closer we're going to put it in between that magnet gap there, that's the shutter magnet. And we'll wiggle it down through there. Like so, and then turn it so it's facing up, drop out oil and then come back out. Okay, and that should get it into the uh, the mechanism. Okay, we did on my one, <laughs> my, my new one that had never been used before, like this one which has. Well, that does look quite clean inside. I've, I've, like I said, I haven't seen this, so uh, it does actually look remarkably clean. So it's been looked after. Anywho, get our little drop of oil. My hands are really cold today. It's not that it's excessively cold out, but it's not warm either. So yeah, it's got some fingers already. Okay, so we only want to. Little drop 
Royal. Put it in. So. There it is, so it's just dripping already. So once you've got that working, okay. Spill a little bit there. Get it in there as best you can. Oh, it's been. There we go. There it is. Yeah, there we go. And just deliver your drop. Put it out to one side. Uh, what it does, what people do say on other channels, and I don't disagree with them, is once you've done your delivery, normally wait a little while before. Uh, cocking it and seeing if you got rid of the squeak so let it you know. or if it hasn't got rid of it don't panic just leave it up upside down like this for a few hours just to let it work through but shall we give it a go upside down maybe fingers crossed how did that hey come on it was good wasn't it hey eh? live on air as it were boom Cool. Well, we'll leave it up um, just for. Oh, put the lid on. Be careful. Put the lid on. Don't want that going everywhere. One second. Let me, let me do the housekeeping. Okay. Yeah, so what I will do, you don't want too much oil in there because it can get in on the, uh, on the uh, blades and everywhere else, make a mess. But as you can tell, yeah, that's clean in there that's fine i haven't again i haven't checked the seals or anything on this yet i literally got it delivered today and it had a little squeak and i thought you know what there's a good little video to make um so what i'll do i'll put the lid back on get our two little screws Not too tight, you know, you're not um, locking away the crown jewels. You don't want to thread the screws even and stuff, so. There we go. Get that popped away. Like that. Okay, so now that's all normal. So that was on 125. You can see that there, yeah. So let's uh, slow it down to an 8 okay? There you go, you can hear that, can't you? Let's go down. That's one second, yeah. Let's go up to 250. All cool. And there you go. That. <laughs> Sorry, it was like an anti climax, but uh, that. Is how you fix the dreaded cannon squeak. Now that phew, looks after well, should outlive me. So, um, thank you for watching. If you like this video and you like these kind of videos, these little quick fix videos, um, you know, do subscription, subscribe, sorry, and uh, hit thumbs up. And uh, see you again very soon. Look after yourself and keep taking great pictures.